Tracy. Hi, Trini. Oh, lady in red. You know what? It was like, I know how many ladies want me to do red and it's a colour I don't wear that much of, but I hear the calling, so we have to do it. So I wanted to start, Lucy, with why I think quite a few women don't wear red, because it can be joyous, but it can look really not great. Do you wear red? No, but when I do, people tell me it suits me, mm. but I'm scared of it. I think there's classic red wearers, so I think... Grace Kelly, blonde peach and cream, red dress. I yeah. think somebody with very white skin, black hair, bright red dress. I think of sort of really a, a black skin with a warm undertone in a sort of tomato. All those can look beautiful. Caramel can look lovely in a tomato too. I think any woman with rosacea, which is why I'm doing this, thinks I have to step away from red. And I just feel before you even try on red, deal with your skin tone, okay? So yeah. I'm gonna do that. I mean, I'm exaggerating my redness, but this is another thing. If you have spots, you avoid red. Things where you feel it's only going to show off where I don't want to show it off. If you have spots or rosacea and you think I love red, but I can't wear it, listen up now. So I will always start with BFF because it will protect your skin from sun, but also it reduces redness. It has extract of porcelain flour on it. Anyone who suffers, they should start with this. Red loves an even skin tone, Lucy. Right. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, it really does. Darling, are you wearing anything today we should be commenting on? Because you look rather gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Well, we did the bold colour clashing. Now, I didn't have two pieces, but this dress is pink and red, actually. So it goes today. Here I am. Oh, that's so pretty, darling. It's an old Zara number, but I just thought as a two colours that clash. I love pink and red together. Yeah, love I it. do too. The belt is very thin, like a cherry pink colour. Yeah. But thin because I am short waisted and thick belts really squash me um, but on my lips I have got oh it's so nice I'm so happy with it Phoebe yes very good with indie <gasps> that I mean one of my favorite combinations so good darling Love. got it on my eyes got it on my cheeks yeah so we're going to talk as well about when do you wear the red lipstick with the red Ah, uh, yes. I yeah. do love a red lip to me. I know you do, darling. And it's just about how to do it. So I've got here all the different reds. Because red can be different shades. And in a way, I thought it might be nice to show with lip how red can look different. Swainy is really warm, which is a lip luxe. Just to show you, that's what I call tomato-y red. Rossi is a kind of between tomato and a cool. A neutral is Talis Lip Glow. A really cooler is Demon Lip Lux. And Valentina Lip Love is the coolest yet. So I would team that up with like a moon and I would team up maybe a neutral. Well, I would do Fortune probably with Swainy, but we're gonna go on the color palette and that's also emulated in clothes. So I'm just gonna remove the redness on my face, Lucy. I'm gonna use just a touch because that's the best coverage we've got. If anyone has rosacea or spots, just get rid of them first before you even see which color red you should be wearing. But there's classic signs of which red you should wear according to your skin, hair and eye combination, Lucy. So if you're kind of predominantly cool toned, like a cool blonde hair, a sort of peach cream skin is neutral, a cool green or blue eye, that would use cooler red. And if you're warmer, if you're caramels, if you're black with a warm undertone, with a sort of warm brown eye, if you are caramelly tones with a sort of tawny hair, that's gonna be a warmer red as well. And somebody like me, I'd do neutral. So I could kind of go to both, but if it's too, too warm, I might avoid it. If it's becoming, you know, nearly a tangerine. Anyway, so... So, so Tony, do yeah. you think that there is a red? People will buy a red lipstick. They'll think, oh, that really suits me. But then it could depend on what they're wearing one day that they might think this doesn't work. I think that... Unless you're so, so, so cool or so, so, so warm in your skin, hair and eye combination, there is a universal red type. To me, Rossi is nearly a universal red because it's not too warm or too cool. So if you're not okay. sure, try to go for that kind of shade. Yeah. So I've got this dress on, old Zara dress. Chloe and I did it for 20 and I love this dress. But when I do this dress, I always think, can I rock a red lip with it? All right, so I'm going to do a diffusing. I've cleaned up my skin. Do you see the redness is gone? but you need to put blusher back on because red is quite strong. But I'm going to do a blusher and I'm going to put it in a different place. So I'm going to take Electra, which I would do with Swainy, and I'll just put that on. It's not red, red, so it's not fighting with the red. And then I'm going to put a bit of Fortune on the eye 
because with this warmth in the red, I want the warmth of fortune. Do you see it has, it picks it up more from what you're wearing. And then I could show you different things to show you. So if I did matching and I did do Swainy, it's a look that, you know, it, you have to feel confident to do, Lucy. I kind of look at the tomatoes and I oddly prefer, I don't know why, I prefer matching my lip when I wear tomato than when I wear a cool red and I cannot tell you why. Okay. So I would either do matchy matchy or I would just have a hint of it and literally take the Swainy and do a little homage like that. And then I'll take Bunny, which is more with the fortune and just put that in the middle on the top like that and then take the rest and put it on my cheek and i then think i don't fight with the dress yeah yeah i, I like that look yeah it's really nice it's softer so yeah. let's go look at clothes shall we yes please so ah. this is you know a lot i'm sorry i only have one black thing which is a jumper of lilas but this is like you've got a pair of bright trousers fantastic trousers and then you do a safe black top mm -hmm. okay and i got black shoes I, I can't even look at it, but it's I, it's so not me. It's so a journey I, I went on years ago, but it's just, I don't know. It doesn't look bad. Not it's at all. It's more no. exciting. But what else could we do? That's it. Yes. So this to me is an alternative. Oh, fab. And what I've done is I've taken Demon Lip Lux, which is the same color as the trousers. So mm -hmm. here I'm putting the red and I'm having something in between it, which I prefer when I do separates. Like when I wear a dress, maybe I can do the full red lip, but when I wear separates, I like to keep it with the bottom half. Okay. But that to me just makes something a bit more interesting. And I've done a silver shoe because this is a cooler red trouser. So that's one way we could do it. It's quite out there quite bright. It looks powerful, Trini. That's what the word is. It's much more powerful. But I'll show you another colour we can do with it. It's the blush. You know, this is a Zara top I just got now, actually. But I love the pink and the blush together. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. That's so nice. Yeah. So um, nice. It's quite cropped, this top. So if you're very long-waisted, you have to have a high pair of trousers. But again, I've got the demon on. I put a bit more blusher on because with this blush shade, for me, it can wash me out. And then a soft earring. So I'm not trying to do a... Like, when you wear a strong red lip, don't wear a strong earring. Wear something skin-toned. Gives you the sparkle, but it puts the attention onto the lip. I like that too. Okay. And you could do this with silver or gold shoes. But I'd say because the, the trousers are kind of actually very neutral red, so you could do silver or gold or do red. I don't mind for an elongation. Mm -hmm. because these are really old Prada Ooh. platforms. And I don't know if it's going to be wide enough to take it. Got to go over. Oh, it just goes over. That's the killer. When you wear wedge, you don't want your trouser to break at the front. You want the bottom of the trouser to me to be wide enough so it doesn't do that at the bottom. It just yeah. sits right over. Yes. And then if you've got a red wedge, it's going to just make your legs even longer. That's lovely. And how would you, would you wear a bag with that outfit? Yes. And what I love colour your would challenge. you Hold on. <laughs> oh. If you can find a Perspex bag when you want a bag, but you don't have another colour introduced, you want to keep that beautiful fluidity. It's perfect. Yes. Simple classic, Lucy, is to yeah. do a pinstripe. And this is a really old J. Crew, but it's uh, blue and white pinstripe with red. I think you cannot go wrong. Pinstripe mm -hmm. shirt. I love it. I like this one. It's a bit out of the back. And I've just done that with a trainer. Daytime yeah. casual. But I'm going to go out on a nighttime meander. So. Ah. so I've just got a little pointy toe boot, which kind of like don't often do one and then jacket over my shoulders or in case you ask me about a bag and I might just do just like that I love the sh I love the white the sharpness of the white you know just those little elements very nice and even for the evening it could just be that but with a heel yeah but stripe you can wear probably with a warm or a cooler red actually but I think with the neutral red is the best <laughs> looking at it now. So what lip have you got on? Well, I did just a touch. So I did Rossi lip to cheek and I put a little bit more on my cheek because I didn't want with so much redness everywhere to have gloss. I wanted oh. it to be matte. So it's another way you, you give the hint of the red, but it's not like lips on fire. Yeah, it's lovely. So this is now a 
cool red but pinkier in tone these are really old serena butte teamed it up with an ice blue shirt so i love icy blue with a cooler red which nearly verges on a pink you can see because it's velvet it has that in a way these are reds that have depth it's about fabrication. I find it much easier to wear red velvet than a dense red. So so I, I, I have actually my going away outfit was a sort of plummy stroke red velvet jacket. Then I can wear Valentina Lip Love, which is this beautiful, very cool red with a bit of iciness to it in the metallic. And then I put moon on the eye to kind of pick up from the shirt, moon eye to eye. But this blue, like, Serena Boot's very good on color, even though there's some black there. The, it's the blue I'm looking at. And so I just, it, it gave me inspiration. And we did this a while ago when we were looking, but I love that. And then I could winterize it. Mmm, mm, she says. Winterize <laughs> it for me, Trini, like that. Yes. So you got that pop. I mean, imagine if I had a pop of black out of this. Very different outfit it would be. In fact, let me show you. Oh no. So I'm not letting any color go through. There. Oh, hello! <laughs> it is that. It's like, think of these contrasting colors. We've done quite a few, Lucy, now on contrasting colors. And I think women are beginning to pick up the man. So, you know, let's challenge. Your challenge, ladies. You know the challenge I'm gonna give you. Wear red with a contrasting color and send us a picture. Be inspired. Yeah, definitely. Okay. When you see it like that, there's just no reason that you'd wear it with black. Okay, so this, Lucy, is, to me, the warmest a red will go. It's when it's nearly tangerine, but I'd still call it red. And this is where I go for a blush blush. That was pinkier, the Zara yeah. top. And this is blush. And on certain people, this is such a beautiful combination. And what I've done is I've done Swainy on my lip. But I'm going to take a bit of Bunny Sheer Shimmer, because I want to soften where... I've got that beiginess, and then I'll take that combination and put it on my cheek, a tiny bit on my eye. I'll put the bunny on its own as a gloss, like that. I'm picking up the red, and then my shoes are those nude. Ah, oh, yes. But yes. my inspiration for this, and, and a, something that I've always felt I'd loved, this Zara bag, which I've had for so many years. And although the red is a cooler red, it was just how Zara, I mean, Zara, bloody Prada, sorry. This is from their Venice collection, but they put together all these kind of taupey colors with red. And you know, like when you've got a deeper red, I sort of love that taupe as well. That's another color. Yeah. The dirtier the red, one could go towards the taupe. And then tan, tan and red can be so beautiful, especially on a more caramel skin tone. This is a little bag that I got it's not right with this, but just if you wanted something which wasn't black and wasn't white and it just had the warmth of a texture from nature, you know, something of rattan. Yeah, I really like that with red. I think the main thing that stands out from what you said today is about having clear skin. It just, I can just see it in every look that you put on. I'm just thinking it's so fresh. That's kind of what works. Yeah. So it's probably much getting the skin tone right for what you're wearing. Getting the evenness of skin tone. It's not about what colour yeah. skin you are, but it's that, you know, so let's say you have lots of freckles with redness, then you do want to tone down the redness. You obviously want to keep the freckles because they're lovely. But if you suffer from pigmentation and redness too, you just evening that out makes reds work better. Yeah, very nice. Okay. I've got a couple last ones. Okay, all right. This is the H&M Studio dress I bought years ago. I used to do it with white, white bag, sharp, but I just thought because we're following the idea of this, the palest biscuit. So the more orangey it is, the more it goes towards biscuit. So if we okay. think of those stages of, you know, we've got kind of biscuit, we've got beigey pink, and then we've got sort of baby pink. So okay. that goes the warmest red, the mid red, coolest red. Yeah. Okay, so just thinking about those colour palettes. And then I had Swainy on and it just seems strong. So in the end, I actually did a little bit of courage on my eye mm -hmm. and then a little bit of Lila on my lip and cheek and then a dab of the courage in the middle. So that's really orangey yeah. colours. So I'm going towards those even more. And then I love pattern with pattern. So I like the fact I'm not going white, so I'm going raffia-ish. Again, mm -hmm. it's got that red in it, it's slightly different red, but I don't mind. And then these are me and M trousers, but they're not white. They're sort of biscuit. Well, not biscuit, they're putty. They're sort of putty. 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 That's what they are. <laughs> Bloody putty. Um, Bloody putty. Bloody putty. So, you know, I'm gonna just end with my favorite red dress. Okay. 
Okay. Which I've had changed. Oh. So my little finale, darling. Oh, oh, I love this dress. So I've done very different makeup. And I wasn't sure, but I quite like it. I took courage and I put it on a bit. And then I put some emperor on to give myself a bit of a liner. Mm -hmm. And then I put on, I think, courage and myco. Oh, your lips? Yeah. I just like the fact it's not a bright red, it's something different. And the most important thing with this, I don't know if you remember this, it was a big deep V, because you tried it on, didn't you Lucy? Yeah. It was a big deep V and I felt very, I couldn't do that anymore. So I got a Susanna to sew it up. And that's it, she's just sewed it up. Yeah. That's incredible, you'd never know. And now you have a dress you can wear. If I go away, I'm gonna take this with me. And um, and gold with this, because it's that tomato-y. So I've just yeah. done a, a little old vintage earring and I don't know where I got the ring from. Gorgeous. And bare feet, it's top. a weird length, so you know. But that's it, the lady in red, just a soup <laughs> saw. Do I want my hair off or down? Let me just think, do I want to be a bit sexier? Yes, a bit sexier. Like we always say, Lucy, everyone can wear every color. Mm -hmm. You just have to find the shade. So if you always loved red, but never knew how to wear it, think, are you the neutrally one? Are you warmer or are you cooler? And just go for those reds. If you love red, but you feel your skin is really red, consider just toning down your skin tone to take out the redness. You can always put red just on your bottom half and then think of those complementary colors that we chose to go with red. So you can think of new alternatives to black if you always wear red and black. Yeah, it's a lot to play with. No excuses. Lots of adventures. So, first of all, what would you like to see on Closet Confessions? I've taken lots of things down. Necklines is in the making, but I want some different ladies with different necks and boobs to be in it. So I want to wait till we open up a bit more. I want to do every shade of blue because it is my favourite shade. So that's on the table. So how you'd feel about that. We still haven't done shoes. Like, what are the... If you could only have six pairs of shoes, what would they be? So That's a good question for you. I know, but I can already think about that actually nearly. I, I only wear about six or eight. So yeah, so we could, we could do that and how would you start yeah. them all up? And any other ideas you have, ladies, but I would love to see you in some red. Send those pictures. Hashtag, what do we hashtag, Lucy? We, what do we hashtag? It's just... Closet Confessions. Closet <laughs> Should have confession. its own hashtag. But um, Trini, Trini London, Trini Woodall, Closet Confessions. Trini and yeah. Uh, yeah. That's it. And for any of the looks and things I've worn today, if you see down in the comments, Lucy meticulously writes down everything I've worn and she'll write the makeup I've worn with each look. Because I think it's really relevant this week about how you do your makeup. I think that's the biggest challenge when you wear red. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time, Trini. Thank you, my love. See you later. See you later. Bye.